Hi everybody, my name is Rachel. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make overnight oats. These are absolutely delicious, something that I crave and are both my husband and my favorite meal prep breakfast that takes absolutely a little bit of time and is super nutritious and healthy for you and is just delicious. So let's get started. This is the base for what I use for my overnight oats. No matter what I add to them, this is what I always use. I use um, the oatmeal. This is the old-fashioned oatmeal. But right now, I've been just filling it up with, I go to Sprouts, and in the bulk, they have um, the rolled oats, and that's what I've been filling that up with. The maple syrup, some granola of your choice. I use some yogurt. You could use whichever yogurt you like. I oftentimes though, I use, we mainly just use the so yogurt, some protein powder. This is the vanilla protein powder. This one's my favorite here. Some chia seeds and some milk of your choice. We like the rice milk, so that's what we use. So for the ones I'm going to be making here today, I'm going to be using an apple. This is a gala apple, a white nectarine, and a peach, and also some frozen fruit here. You could either just buy the bag of frozen fruit, or um, what I have done is I've been refilling it up. I went to um, Sprouts. They were having a sale, and so I just washed my fruit and prepared it and have just been refilling this bag here. I got these jars here from uh, Target. They were the cheapest there. These are the 16 ounce jars and these are like the best size. I used to make them with 32 ounce jars and it's just way too much. So this size right here is absolutely perfect. Okay, so the first thing I do is I put in overnight oats and I'm just gonna use here, this paper here is my funnel. I have a large funnel, but like the oats get stuck in it. So just using a paper I found works best. So we're going to do two-fourths in each of these. Here. I also get these at Sprouts in the bulk section and I use this, this soup spoon here. This is just what I like to use the best, um, but it's basically just like a heaping tablespoon. So I just put a full spoon, throw it on in. protein powder. This is just a Sprouts brand in vanilla. And I take my spoon again here and I just put a spoonful each. in advance they taste best just um, two days fresh so you don't want to like make too many in a row so these are going to be the ones that I'm going to be making today and these two are prepped for our Friday breakfast so I'm just going to cover these guys up and put them to the side and I will finish them off on Thursday evening for our Friday's breakfast now for the milk, I have not actually measured um, how much milk it is that I do put in, but I don't know if you could see here, um, this line right here, it's the 200 mark. I fill it up until it's full to right here, to this line. So if you use the 16 ounce jars, um, that'll be your measuring mark. my little spoon here 
And for the yogurt, I put two tablespoons in. Generally, we stick to just the maple syrup. Now, it is to your liking, so just go ahead and put however much that you want, but I just put like, I don't know, like it's about a tablespoon. some granola. I also got this from Sprouts in the bulk section. Most of the stuff I do get from Sprouts. And you just put as much as you'd like. Just, I have to kind of cover this a little bit so it doesn't get everywhere. cut up half of the fruit and then the rest remaining fruit I have in here for Mila so she could snack on it. So um, for the first one we're going to do the peaches. I'm going to put the peach in there. I love you too baby. Next I'm going to do the apples um, but actually for the apples I should have put the peanut butter in first. Not that it like completely matters, but let me backtrack a little bit. I would have put the peanut butter in first before the granola, but it doesn't matter. So let me go ahead and put the peanut butter. And I just put a heaping, um, this is a teaspoon I have here. I'll drop that in. And I have found the best peanut butter to use is Jif. It mixes in really, really well. And so you won't have any problems with like clumps and all that. So this is my favorite to use for the overnight oats. Okay, so now I'll put in the apple. Next, I'll do my white nectarines. cinnamon and I think I'm just gonna put some cinnamon in all of them actually it's so good I love cinnamon These other two guys are already set aside and ready for me to just add the rest of the ingredients for our Friday's breakfast as well. Okay, so all I have to do now is just go ahead and put these in the fridge and you definitely want to leave them overnight. You don't want to eat them right away. They taste much better um, overnight. So that's how you're supposed to do it and that's how they taste best. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you really enjoyed it and that you guys go out and make the overnight oats yourself. You'll absolutely just love them. They're so delicious and nutritious and they take just very little bit of time to make and you'll have them prepped. I definitely recommend that you just get creative as possible with them. Uh, go to the grocery store, use whatever's in season and just have fun with it. All right, you guys. Please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Share with a friend and leave me a comment. Let me know some ideas that you may have or ones that you have tried before or are thinking of trying. All right, you guys. Have a blessed day. God bless. Mwah.